Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this skincare Shopify website. This website is perfect for beauty, skincare, and hair care businesses. This website is also mobile and desktop responsive, so it looks great on mobile devices. In today's video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. All right, so first you're gonna open Shopify and go to online store, then themes. You're gonna scroll down to Shopify's free website themes and you'll be starting a new website. So I'd recommend just installing the original Dawn theme. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is gonna look in full screen. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. First, I'm gonna click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to top center. This way your logo will display in the center of the website. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That's called a sticky header animation. And right here, you can remove that effect if you would like. Then I'm gonna click on the announcement bar and I'm gonna be displaying these social media icons. Click theme settings, then social media. Here you can paste the links to your brand's social media pages. And those clickable social media icons will display on your announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Then I'll be removing the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Next, you're going to click colors, then I'm going to open color scheme 2. I'm going to set the background to white, then I'm going to apply a gradient background effect. And for the gradient, I'll be doing a white and gray ombre. Then I'm going to click on the announcement bar and set this to color scheme 2. Next, you're going to click logo, and here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format, and under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. When customers click catalog, this will take them to the shop all section of your website. Then when they click contact us, this will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're gonna open Shopify, then go to online store and then navigation. Open your main menu. And here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages. All right, and next I'll be showing you how I designed the main slideshow. First, I'm gonna import a slideshow. Then I'm just going to scroll down and remove this image banner and the featured collection. Then I'm going to remove the heading, the subheading, and the container on desktop. You can go ahead and retitle this button label. Then you can link it to a page or a product collection within your website. I'm going to set this to bottom center. You're going to make sure this section is set to color scheme 1. Then open color scheme 1 and set the solid button background to white and the solid button label to black. Next, I'm going to repeat those steps for this second slide. For this section, I'm going to apply the outline button style. Then under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom right. Click add block. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for this third slide. Then under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Alright, and next I'll be showing you how I designed these three slideshow pages. To design these slideshow banners, first you're going to open Canva and click custom size. The dimensions I'll be doing are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to set the background to a gray color. And when you click upload files, you can upload your brand pictures and your product photos. Then I'm going to upload one product photo. You're going to click elements and I've searched for a faded element. And I'll be uploading one of these onto the page and setting this to match the background. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Then I'm going to upload a brand picture. I'll be using Canva's background removal feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, I'll list a few free background removal tools that you can use. Then I'm going to upload a text box. And for this text box, I'm going to apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Then click Effects and I'll be applying the Lift effect. Then I'm going to upload another text box. And I'm going to apply the font Alta. Then click Effects and apply the Lift effect. Then I'm going to upload a faded rectangle element. Then you're going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload another text box. Then apply the font Futura. Then click add page. I'm going to change the background to the color white. And on this page, I'll be uploading four brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then put this in uppercase and apply the font Alta. Then you're going to reduce the opacity. Upload another text box, then apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Alta. Then I'm going to upload another text box. Click Add Page, then I'm going to upload four more brand pictures. I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this text box. 
and I'm also going to copy and paste these three text boxes. Then retitle this section. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. You can go ahead and download each of these pages in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you're going to click select an image, then you can upload that main web banner design. Under slide height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image, then I'm going to set the pagination style to dots. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow portion of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time, and I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the email signup and the promo banner section. First, I'm going to click on theme settings, then typography, and I'll be changing this main font to the font Cormorant. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to the font Cabin Bold. Then I'm going to import an email signup. I'm going to retitle this section, then I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. To send emails to your customers, you're going to open Shopify, then go to marketing, then automations. And here you can send out your emails in bulk and create custom email templates. Then I'm going to import an image banner. I'm going to remove the heading and the description, then remove the container on desktop. And you can go ahead and retitle this button label and select a link. I'm going to apply the outline button style. Then set this to bottom center. And this section is going to be perfect for featuring any new products or any important sales or discounts you're running. Here on Canva, you're going to click custom size. And the dimensions I'll be doing are 2000 by 600 pixels. First, you're going to upload pictures of the products you'll be featuring. You can also feature any of your new arrivals. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Upload another text box. Then I'm going to apply the font Alta. And for the title, you can just choose whichever title will represent whatever it is you're featuring. For an example, you can put New Arrivals or Shop Our New Collection. Then you're going to download this page and upload it into that image banner. Under Banner Heights, I'm going to set this to Adapt to First Image. Once you're finished, that's why I added the email signup and the product promo section. And here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then you're going to remove the container on desktop and the container on mobile. Then you can retitle the button label and select the link. I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. And next, I'll be showing you how I designed the banner for this section. Here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click Add Page. I'm going to upload a square shape. I'm also going to upload another one of those faded elements. And that's going to add a subtle ombre effect. Then you can upload a brand picture. And on each side, I'll be uploading three product photos. Then you can download this page. Then you can upload it into that image banner. Under image behavior, I'm going to set this to zoom in on scroll. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the about us section. And here's how this section appears on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I design the collection list. First, I'm going to import a rich text. And I'm going to remove the description and the button label. Then I'm going to import a collection list. I'll be displaying four collections. You're going to enable the swipe on mobile. And you can also enable the view all button if your store has more than four collections. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the circle collection cover pictures. Here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size. And the dimensions I'll be doing are 1000 by 1000 pixels. Click elements. Then I'm going to upload a circle image frame. Next, I'm going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then I'm going to apply the font Babies New. Next, you can just drag and drop your product photos. Once you're finished, you can download each of these collection covers. Then here on Shopify, when you click Products, then Collections, you can open one of your existing collections or create a new one. And right here under Image is where you can upload that collection cover image. Once you're done, that's how I added the collection list.
Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the second web banner section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then you can retitle this section and retitle the button label. Here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. First, I'm going to upload a faded element. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. Then you can upload one of your product photos. Then I'm going to duplicate this twice. Then you can just drag and drop more of your brand pictures. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Then apply the font holiday and I'm going to rotate this. Upload another text box. Then apply the font to Dream Avenue. And I'm going to rotate this as well. Then I'm going to download this banner. Then you can upload it into the image banner. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the second web banner section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the FAQ section and the featured product collection. First, I'm going to import a featured collection. I'm going to retitle the heading. Then be sure to enable the swipe on mobile if the collection you're featuring includes more than four products. Then when you click select collection, you can choose which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling collection. Then I'm going to import a collapsible content. First, I'm going to set this to color scheme 4. Then you can retitle the heading. And when you click on one of the collapsible rows, you can select which icon you would like to change it to. I'll just be using the question mark icons. Then you can insert one of your frequently asked questions. Then you can put your answer for that question. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured collection and the FAQs section. And here's how this section appears on mobile. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the featured blog post section. First, I'm going to import a multi-column. Then remove the secondary background. When you click on a column, under heading, you can type in the title for the blog post. I'll just be using an example text. Then you can type in a mini description for the blog post. And then you can paste in a link leading straight to that blog post. Next, you can upload images to represent the covers for each of those blog posts. And lastly, I'm going to set the heading to large. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured blog post section. And lastly, I'll be showing you how I designed the Instagram post section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Next, I'm going to import a rich text and I'm going to remove the text. Here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. First, I'm going to upload a faded square element. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. Under elements, I'm also going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this element four times. Then under upload files, you can import the Instagram post that you'll be featuring and you're just going to drag and drop them onto those frames. Then I'm going to upload an Instagram icon and reduce the opacity of this. Then I'm going to upload a text box. Apply the font to Beautifully Delicious. Upload another text box. Apply the font to Dream Avenue. Then I'm going to duplicate this. And here you can type in your Instagram username. And then I'm going to download this page and then upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're done, that's how I designed the featured Instagram section. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify template, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva. So all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template. And I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.